What's up everybody, it's RJ with Twin Halos and today I'm gonna give you a beginner's workout when cycling for motocross. So today's workout consists of this, five to 10 minutes of warm up, which is light pedaling. Then we're gonna go 30 minutes into steady state cardio and then we're gonna cool down for the next 10 minutes. So something that you're going to need for this ride is a heart rate monitor. You wanna make sure that you're tracking your heart rate. That way you can actually ride within these targeted heart rate zones. Now, one thing that you wanna do if you don't know where your zones are, you're gonna do a lactate threshold test. And I'm gonna link in the description below a video on how to do that. So once you do your lactate threshold test, then when you come to do this workout, that's how you're gonna know what zone you wanna be in. And for today's workout, we're gonna train in zone three. So one of the main purposes behind this workout is to get us used to riding this style of bike. If you haven't ridden a road bike before, it's gonna take some time to get used to. So we don't wanna start with a really long ride and be in excruciating pain the entire time. We wanna train for 30 minutes, get used to the bike, and then once you're done after this workout, that's when you wanna start making more adjustments to your handlebars, to your seat, to make sure that you're comfortable when on the bike. I'm gonna also link to a video in the description below on how to do a quick bike fit for you. So if you want to start cycling for motocross and go in between cycling and weight training, then the program Iron Foundation has everything you need in order to accomplish that for motocross. So I hope you found this informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Other than that, that's it for me. I'm RJ with Twin Hales, and I'll see you guys on the road. Mm -hmm.